There's a new opportunity for children interested in the performing arts. The Cranbrook Project is getting ready to hold its first ever performing arts camp for kids. It starts next month in Bloomfield Hills. And Kismet Jordan from the Cranbrook Project joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us, what is the Cranbrook Project? Well, the Cranbrook Project is a nonprofit that was established by Christ Church Cranbrook uh, to use the arts to bring communities together. And so, uh, in trying to fill a space for youth enrichment, uh, we thought maybe a summer camp might might do the job. And so here we are launching our first summer camp. So tell us about this camp. What will kids learn and who can sign up for it? Well, any youth who's interested in music can sign up for this camp. Um, a typical day will consist of uh, exposure to piano, drums, songwriting, music production or beat making as we like to say, as well as vocal performance and that's solo and ensemble. And so um, the camp is three weeks long and it'll give us an opportunity as well as the youth to explore their superpowers as it relates to the arts and, uh, you know, kind of create their own portfolio. You know, if they love songwriting or interested in lyrics and poetry, you know, how can we, you know, help that flourish by getting them in the studio, working with, you know, kids who may want to be producers, you know, produce commercial music. Uh, so I think there's something for everyone. And I hope that students um, see this as an opportunity to really find the authenticity of their creativity. And why is this so important? I mean, I, some schools don't have as much music offered right. anymore. So this is really key to have this in the summer. It is, you know, and that's why we did it in the summer. You know, kids have the summers off and they can really kind of put themselves into a program. You know, they don't have to, uh, you know, uh, separate their day between, you know, homework and something else. And so the arts, you know, if you don't uh, sew into the future of, of musicians, where will the music be? And so when people, when, when uh, institutions or school districts cut music programs, that's always my question. You know, if you don't, if you don't sow into the future, where will music be in the future? And so as a musician, you know, I think it's very important for us to see youth, see the, the, uh, the natural gifts that they have and sow into those gifts, you know, build confidence, empower them with skills, empower them with confidence about, you know, what makes them different as artists. You know, there's tons of artists. Everyone wants to be, you know, something, but everyone is different. And so I think it's important for students to know what makes them different and how can we help them along their journey. I love that you're holding this in August because a lot of camps happen in June and July. They so this do. is really going to fill a need, I think. Tell I me think more so. logistically, you know, what are the hours? How can parents sign up? Right. So we purposely place it in August. Um, that also allowed for us to partner with uh, Boys and Girls Club of America and have a residence in one of their clubs. And so students will be able during the final week of camp to get into the music studio and uh, you know, the songs that they've been working on, the tracks they'll be working on, we'll be able to bring that together and have a CD by the end of camp. It's fabulous. Right, so that's something that they can all take, put in their portfolio, we'll have that to show you know, what we did the first time out. But a typical day will consist of breakfast in the morning, we'll have three uh, morning sessions that are 40 minutes apiece. Uh, they'll also include a snack break in there. We'll have lunch at 11.15, 11, and the afternoon session will be uh, 55 minutes plus a collaborative hour to you know, focus on their major area of study, what they said they wanted to do most. Uh, and then they'll be able to you know, collaborate against uh, other genres, you know, piano students get with vocal students and vice versa. And so uh, this is for 13 to 17 year old, those, those are our ages. Uh, we have transportation available for people who need to get out to Bloomfield Hills and may, may not be able to get there. We also have some sponsorships. Um, the camp just cost $250 for the whole three weeks. Uh, and we thought that that was good because we want to make camp affordable. Mm -hmm. We also want it to be engaging and fun and relevant, but we need it to be accessible at the same time. Absolutely. Kizma, thank you so much for coming in to thank talk you. to us about this. We're going to have all the information right on our website. Let's check in now with Hallie for a look at the